Hi everyone, it's meteorologist Terry Swales here. And today has been another cold day around the Midwest, but temperatures were somewhat warmer than yesterday, so we're moving in the right direction. And our warming trend will continue to increase here as we go through the next couple of days. And by Friday afternoon, temperatures should get a little bit above the freezing mark, so some good news in that respect. But there are some other issues we'll have to deal with, and we'll get to that in just a second. Here's our future track tonight, and there are some clouds in our far southern counties, and even a few light snow showers down that way. But as the evening hours progress, skies should generally clear out around here, and that will allow the temperatures to fall pretty steadily. And by tomorrow morning, lows should be back in the range of minus 5 to minus 10 degrees in quite a few areas. But you can see as we get towards the late night hours, clouds beginning to return from the south. And this is a sign that warmer air is coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. And this will produce cloudy skies across much of the area as we get into the day then on Thursday. And even the chance of a little bit of patchy light snow or flurries or perhaps some freezing drizzle, especially as we get into the late afternoon hours of our Thursday. Temperatures, though, should be back up in the 20s. And again, as we promised on Friday, readings will be in the 30s. But there could be a period of some freezing rain and sleet before plain old rain develops later on in the afternoon. And our forecast tonight, then, is looking this way. We'll see partly cloudy to clear skies around here. And cold temperatures once again, about minus 6 for the low. Northeast winds at 5 to 10. And then tomorrow, skies turning cloudy once again, and later on a chance of a flurry or a little bit of freezing drizzle in spots, and the high temperature at 23 degrees.